phone. I'm actually dying. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up? My name is Mermaid Summer and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this episode of City Living, which I believe is part 13, I'm not 100% sure but you'll be able to know because it will be on the title of the video. Today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be moving out Leela and Tom into the big city because I've been doing a lot of off-camera work, like a lot, and some people get quite angry and be like, why didn't you upload you recording like that and everything like that? First, two things. First thing, I tried to, but it was so boring because literally all I was doing is just like housework and stuff like that and career stuff and it was really boring actually. Like, I thought it'd be fun to do some career stuff for social media. It's really not. It's just clicking the same things over and over again. And then I had to obviously age up the children twice to teenager, then to young adults, and that touch took to create sims because they always need to look fabulous and yeah so <laughs> sorry that we kind of missed two life stages um children and teenager but we are young adults now so we can be more mature about it by the way i don't know why he's so sad i don't i don't know why that is <laughs> tom is always sad i swear this is our house okay the roof is not up there we go <laughs> And as you can tell, it's a bit different from the city. Um, we are literally on an abandoned island, apart from this random house over here. Um, sweet. <laughs> and another one. And another one. And a pier for creepy reasons. Anyways, um, <laughs> if anyone's seen Scream the TV series, you know when they, like on the last episode of season two, when they go on that creepy island and then there's like the Anna Hobb story or whatever. I've been re-watching Scream quite a lot, so if some of that comes in, I, I, I don't know, but um, I'll try not to. I'm kind of obsessed with that show at the moment because I watched it earlier and then I re-watched it the other day, so cool. Anyways, um, so I'm really excited about this part. I don't know why. Um, well, I do know why. It's because we're moving out into the big city. So obviously, Leela and... I was about to call them Kaya then. Obviously, Leela and Genji have always lived in the big city. It's been their entire childhood. Pretty much, yeah, actually. They, they were born there, they grew up there, and everything like that. Now, the big city is... I keep calling it the big city. <laughs> what have I done? Oh my god. I need to stop touching my mouse, I swear. <laughs> so, the city is a great place for everything besides growing up in my opinion um because you kind of need like a sheltered place for your children to grow up if that makes any sense um like i don't know i don't know i just feel like i've been watching a lot of gossip girl as well recently again um so i've kind of been like becoming in tune with the characters i don't know i'm just trying to investigate i don't know um yeah they grew up on quite a sheltered island where they they made friends at school and everything like that by the way how would they get to school they have to take a ferry every morning because i w could not be bothered to do that anyways um <laughs> i keep going off in tangents they need to move back into the city because They've, they've lived in this home for a while now and they've been kind of isolated from everybody else and it's kind of taking effect on their family because the kids aren't haven't really had that much exposure with Leela and Genji's sort of life in the city, if that makes any sense. They wouldn't really understand what they're talking about. Anyways, um, basically, that's my whole story for why they're moving back into the city. But the main reason being that this is a city living let's play and they can't live here because this is not a city. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like the downgraded version of Salt Bay. <laughs> what is going on? I... I you know what? I'm just gonna leave that. Also, I just realised that um, Tom and Genji are wearing the exact same shirt for their everyday wear, just in different colours. Slightly different colours. What even is this? This is my pose set for a wedding, because I was gonna do a um, current household video, and it failed dramatically. Okay, so, um, <laughs> it wasn't really that dramatic, actually. Um, kind of was, though. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, one of my sims died, so I was like, okay, well then, fine, we're not going to do a current household video today, we're going to host a funeral, and then, yeah. Um, 
I have screenshots I could show you but I'm not going to because this is gonna be a fun part not a death part okay hopefully not anyways because that that could be a bit too big of a plot twist there's not really much to do in this house I've just real <laughs> I say that but it's a bloody mansion I don't know what I'm talking about um, I guess we can go um, jump into the pool we can do some backflips you know it's 2 a.m. in the morning and um, we're gonna do some backflips um, her life is pretty lit I'm not gonna lie <laughs> oh my god I said this joke just one well, the other day this is totally random whilst we're waiting for her to come but my friend texted me while she was on the toilet and said oh my god I'm on the toilet right now lol and then I said oh my god me too and I said that's pretty toy lit no you don't get it I was like dying I was like oh my god I'm a genius when it comes to jokes and she just she, she didn't reply she didn't reply <laughs> let's change up what the hell is that what the bloody hell is that <laughs> oh my god please change into that oh my god <laughs> I'm dying! I'm actually dying! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh man, that's not good. That's really not good. Hey, hold the phone. I wanted to do a Mercy Creator Sim ages ago and I couldn't get the wings to work. How the hell has it worked on you? Oh my god! <laughs> She does look a bit weird, I won't lie to you. She's got a very pointy chin and for some reason her eyelashes are kind of glitched. If anyone can help me out with that, that'd be great. Also, why is this such a creepy position? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna move. We're just gonna, you know what? We're just, we're just gonna go. Okay, save and go manage worlds. If anyone wants to know how to do this, the way I do it, probably not the most efficient way, is you go to split and merge. Split and merge is the thing to do. Ow. Okay, so Leela lived in the fashion district for the longest time and then Alana, her sister, lives in the uptown, um, the rich district, and um, I think we lived here for some time. Yep, that was our penthouse for a while uh, in the arts quarter and this was the spice market area. We haven't actually lived in the spice market area before, however her granddad lives in the spice district so i don't know if that will be so weird or what okay i've decided once again we are going to be moving into the culpepper apartments and we're going to be moving into this one i did move somebody out um because um when you when you live in a world for so long random people start to move into all of the free areas if that makes any sense um, it's a thing I promise um, so I j did have to move somebody out because literally all of the apartments in the entire world are full right now so yeah we're gonna move into this one because it's quite small it's quite cute I know I'm gonna regret this quite a lot because gremlins uh, I'll read you the description since this is a city living a let's play gremlins stuff breaks here a lot it's like there are tiny goblins who come out at night and smash things but that's ridiculous right <laughs> so um yeah we're moving into here so yeah get ready a snug apartment in the heart of the desirable spice market district that sounds like a really nice place besides the gremlins so we're gonna move in <laughs> we're here guys we're in the apartment complex oh my god it's actually really pretty not really <laughs> ew. Ew, ew, ew 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 what is this ew ew Ew! <laughs> oh my god, this is the grossest apartment. It's all like, ew, ew! Who has a slimy green bed and green drawers? I'm sorry if you do, but what even is that? It? It's like a really gross looking bed next to a really modern table. I'm so disgusted right now. Okay, I'm gonna revamp this apartment. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it into a speed build or if I'm just gonna go straight into it afterwards. But yeah, I'm gonna do that now. So I'll just be one sec.
Okay guys, I am back from a solid half an hour of recreating this apartment and I think it's come out pretty well. I'm not too sure. As you guys know, I am not a good builder in The Sims 4. It's so sad because I love building. I genuinely love building. But I am so bad. I have this really, really good idea in my brain. And then I'm like, oh yes, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Put it down and it looks shocking like it just doesn't look good so this time I decided to just wing it and go for it and it actually looks pretty decent so I'm happy looking pretty snazzy <gasps> oh it's the welcome wagon quickly quickly qu look like you were in already quickly go 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 okay the welcome wagon has decided to come at the worst time humanly possible because she is on the other side of town come on Sprint, woman! Sprint! Sprint! Dang it! Where are you at? Is she actually sprinting? She's not even sprinting. I, I, I told you to sprint. I guess we'll wait then. I miss Leela. Leela was so much more enthusiastic. What is this? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's invite all the neighbours in. Um, and I guess this can be our housewarming party. Okay, so whilst we're talking about, um, you know, casual stuff like, you know, like fruitcake and that us being neighbours, she's obviously not into it, but whatever, at least she's here. I was wondering where the other guy was at, and um, turns out he's made friends with the toilet. Call him introvert, I don't care. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing though, actually? Um, moment of truth. By the way, the reason why it's glitching so much is because I'm taking as many screenshots as possible. Um, eat it. Is it good? Nope, nope, that's not good. That's that's a sign of um, it not being very good. Okay. <laughs> She's like, I can deal, I can deal with this. What did I just eat? Yuck. Does anyone really eat that fruitcake stuff? I agree with you, actually. I agree so much. I hate fruitcake. You know when on Christmas, when your family members br um, bring around fruitcake? You know it's not going to be a good Christmas. No, just kidding. <laughs> Wait, why is everyone going? What? Oh no, she's coming back in. What is she doing? Greetings. Might I enter your residence and partake in some rousing intellectual pursuits with you? No. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> what type of greeting is that? Like... Yeah, I, what? My phone keeps- stop, stop, someone keeps turning- someone keeps texting me, stop, okay. Um... Are you serious? I'm not sure if you can hear this. <laughs> it's like, who the hell is doing this? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next part. Bye guys! Toodaloo! <laughs> Wait, should I do that? Should that be my new thing? Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and toodaloo! Yes, that is my new thing. Okay, bye. <laughs>